Hey there, Samantha Garrett here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can assign tasks to either yourself or other people right from Google Docs. Now, I totally love this feature because what it actually does is when you assign those tasks, it adds it to either your task list in Google Tasks, if you um, assign it to yourself, or it adds it to a colleague's um, task list in Google Tasks if you assigned it to them. So super quick and easy, particularly when you might be dealing with action items, perhaps out of meetings, or you're working on a project together and you just wanna quickly be able to indicate in the document who's doing what, but you want to that to flow through to people's tasks. Now, before we jump in and take a look, just a really important point about this feature. It is only available in Google Workspace accounts, which basically means if you use Google tools at work or at school, then you're probably using Google Workspace, so it will work for you. But if you're using a Google account personally, so perhaps like a Gmail account with a Gmail address, you won't see this feature. So just be aware of that before we take a look. All right, I think we're ready. Let's jump in and take a look now. Alrighty, so I've got my Google Doc open and as you can see here, it's a bit of a demo uh, meeting agenda. So I'm gonna come down here to the action item section. I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can do this, assign these tasks. So the first one is actually kind of already here, ready to go. When you are using a checklist in a Google Doc, and I will show you how to pop one of those in in a minute, when you're using a checklist, you'll automatically see this icon on the left of the checklist, which has got the little task button. And you'll see here, if I hover over it, it actually says assign as a task. So we'll do that in a minute, but before I do, let me show you how to use a checklist if you've not done one before. So up here on the toolbar, where you see your bullet, uh, bullet, uh, bullet list and your numbered list and all of that, you'll see here there's a checklist. So you can just click that to turn that on, start typing and you'll get a checklist. So I might add another one here, We'll just come in and we're just gonna pop in here and we'll say organize travel. And once again, we've got the little assigned task. Now, as I said, we will assign the task in a minute, but let me show you another way to do it before we go ahead and actually set that task up. So I'm just gonna jump out of a checklist. So I'm just here, blank space on the document. So what we can do um, if we're not using a checklist, but we wanna want, uh, want to be able to assign stuff is we can type the at symbol and that will um, pop up this little box here with all of the different kind of actions we can do, um, including what we call smart chips and building blocks and a whole lot of stuff. But you'll see right at the top, we've got task. Now, if I don't see it there, um, or I just wanna make this even quicker, I can just actually even type at task and then I can push enter and straight away that's going to bring up the little task box that you see here. And this is the same box you would see if you had have used the little tasks button uh, next to the checklist. So of course we can um, pop a title in here if we want to. So I might call this one organized travel. Uh, had we used the checklist one, it would already be in there, but I just wanna do it myself. Um, and then we can do an assignee. So I'm actually gonna click in here and I'm just gonna put myself in. So there you go and then I can come in and put a date if I want to. So this is optional, the date. Now, I'm gonna click assign as a task. Now, a couple of things happen at this point. One, you'll see that my little uh, profile icon is next to it, which is super cool. Um, I can jump in and edit that if I want to. Um, but what will happen is if you assign this particularly to someone else, they will get an email to say that you have assigned the task, which is super cool. Um, also, if the task is then crossed off um, or marked complete here in the document, it will mark complete in Google Tasks as well. So as I mentioned in the intro, when you use this, it will actually add it to either your task list or the person that you've assigned it to. So just keeps everything really, um, really neat and really together and um, a lot of consistency between task lists and what you see in a document. Now, if you wanna see all of the tasks that have been assigned from a specific document, you can come up here to the tools menu and come down to tasks. And that will open this little panel on the right hand side where we can see all of the tasks. Now, obviously there's just one, which is fine, um, but usually we, obviously if we had more, we would see them all here. Now, another little note too, if we were to delete this um, task before it had been completed, um, then the person that was assigned to it would also get an email to say, oh, it's been deleted, but you hadn't completed it yet. So I really love that it keeps you up to date with those emails as well. And same thing, if it is completed, you'll get an email about that as well. So you kind of always know what's going on in the document um, when the actions are, are taken from there. 
So there you have it. That is such an easy way to assign tasks to people, as I said earlier, from meeting minutes or when you're working on projects or something like that. It really just helps people stay organized and have you know good idea of everything that's on their plate because it can all be in Google Tasks together. So if you like this video, drop me a like below. You can also say hey in the comments and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can get more Google Workspace tips and tricks. That's it for now. See you next time.